Hi, I'm Harish Gurdidi. Welcome back to my channel. Uh -huh. If you if you are not following the AWS organization session, so here's a link on the top. Uh, go ahead and click on it to watch previous videos about AWS organizations. Today we are gonna. Uh, it's gonna be a master class. It's gonna be a deep dive session uh, along with a, a complete demo of AWS organizations management policies. Um, so let's dive in. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Harish Kotiti, founder and chief architect at Cloud Optimize Solutions. Uh, we're a small, uh, small uh, consulting firm, and uh, I specialize in implementing AWS solutions for small and medium businesses. So I have overall, overall over two decades of experience in technology, but specifically uh, 15 plus years in cloud and. Um, you know, enterprise technology, um, enterprise, enterprise solutions, um, a little bit about my credentials with AWS on the right. I believe in continuous education, um, so continuous learning, so I keep adding a lot of credentials on AWS to, to my portfolio. So let's talk about today's session, which is policies introduction, then we're going to look at management policies. We are going to understand what policy inheritance is, then we are going to look at tag policies and how to verify policy compliance and finally we are going to do all this together in a demo session. So I'm pretty excited uh, to show you everything about tag policies and management policies. So let's dive in. So what are policies, right? Policies in AWS, I mean, every anyone with technology, they understand what policies are, right? Policies in AWS organization enable you to apply additional types of management to the AWS accounts in your organization. So it's simply, if you want to add more you know, governance, more uh, rules, more regulations uh, on how, you, how the accounts are managed better, um, you use policies. There are two types of policies in AWS organizations. First one is, authorization policies which are service control policies which we'll talk in the next master class and the other one is management policies so these are the two types of policies that that are available in aws organizations at this time so let's talk about authorization policies authorization policies help you centrally manage the security of aws accounts in your organization so, I mean, with service and control policies being authorization policies, you can centrally manage who will access what resources, who will do what with a specific type of resource and that kind of stuff. We'll talk about that in the next master class. But today, the management policies enable you to centrally configure and manage AWS services and their features. So, it, the difference really is with management policies, how do you configure a certain AWS services and their features? Is what management policies do and right so that's the difference where it's authorization really about accessing stuff whereas management policies are really about configuring and managing right the features so with management policies there are three types of management policies currently with AWS organizations the first one is artificial intelligence services opt-out policy um, so what basically AWS does is if you enable this, um, you know, if you don't enable this, what AWS does is it collects all your organizational accounts information for the AI services to work, all right? If you don't have this um, enabled, if you enable it, you're going to opt out on specific services that you don't want AWS to collect information. So uh, yeah, that's, that's in general. Um, so backup policies help you centrally manage and apply backup plans. To AWS resources across your organization accounts. Um, we will learn more about backup policies when I talk about AWS backup service. Um, then we'll then it will make all, well, much sense than right now. So that's backup policies. And finally, tag policies help you standardize the tags attached to the AWS resources in your organization's accounts. So the thing is with tag policies are the I believe tag policies are most useful. Uh, when you have multiple teams, uh, right? So, and they start spinning up resources and adding tags by themselves. Um, so what happens is, I mean, for example, let's just say product, uh, project, a tag name, project name, right? Many people can, you know, the team members can write it in different ways and then, you know, uh, and, and stuff like that. So, and different values for projects and, uh, you know, a lot of things. So when you run a report, you may not get the right 
right um, you know right answers from those report because the when you run a report based on tags you may get incorrect values because the um, the project name the tags are incorrect right so tag policies will help you standardize that and today we'll talk a lot about tag policies and and the and see a complete demo on how to enforce tag policies now let's understand policy inheritance so the parent policy what it really means is when a policy is applied to the parent automatically all the children uh, will uh, will get those policies for example if it's policy at the root level you will get the policies to the management account sorry you get the policies to organization units member accounts and management accounts a child policy is policy as applied specifically to a child of uh, or, or of a parent for example the member accounts are child of organizational units so if a policy is applied to only a member account then other you know that is a child policy effective policy is what it means is finally after evaluating everything all the policies that are applied to a specific resource or an account whatever the policy that comes up that is the effective policy for example in at an organization unit level if you have a policy uh, not to um, not to create um, uh, in, in, in ec2 instances and at a member account level you have you, you have a uh, create instances uh, policy applied that overrides that the effective policy could be the one that that says you can create an instance for a specific member account even though the organization unit has is not allowing you to create a uh, you know member account so how do we do it we do it with something called inheritance operators it's an advanced feature where when you know the policy authors will use it to override specific policies or to enforce specific policies to the child and stuff like that so that's much more advanced we'll talk about it later but first today let's understand tag policies so you can use tag policies to maintain consistent tags including preferred case treatment upper case lower case mixed case type thing of the tag keys and tag values so uh, let's like i said project name one person can say p p in small case and uh, you know name and then uppercase or someone can do it in all lowercase someone with all uppercase so we want to make sure they are consistent case treatment for the tag keys and tag values and also the the, the values that that come in basically the tag value so what are tags first understand what are tags tags are custom attribute labels so that you assign or that aws assigns to aws resource each tag has two parts right your attack key cost center environment project those are the tag keys and are case sensitive and and an optional field called tag value uh, is basically whatever value you put right um, um, omitting the tag value same as using an empty string like tag keys tag values are case sensitive um, so typically the best practice is have a tag key and have a tag value don't just do one either or you know just leave it with tag uh, tag key right um so that's that's about tags in in general just to identify resources properly so now let's understand policy compliance so how do you okay you put a tag policy how do you know if the tag policy is uh, is applied right so you can check tag policies and uh, um, non-compliant resources for tag policies using cloudwatch events um, right monitor cloudwatch event or use aws resource groups and a tag editor while cloudwatch events uh, for uh, is a very good option for non finding non-compliance tags um, and it is all it can also have a lot of information making it difficult for you to analyze um, the non compliance uh, for especially if you are looking for tag policies. In that case, what I recommend is you use AWS resource groups and tags editor, which is visual and a lot more easier because it is designed for that specific purpose. Whereas CloudWatch, as you know, is designed or is a service that does a, a hundred other things, right? So let's use AWS resource groups and tag editor to actually go ahead and see whether we are compliant or not so now let's that's now the fun part um, the really the demo so let's dive in and go ahead create some tag policies apply them to some accounts test it and see how they work right so let's go so i am here in aws organizations 
now first is again like policies uh, right so you have tag policies it's enabled first thing to check is whether you have tag policies enabled or not so it is enabled so now what we are going to do is we're going to go into tag policies and we're going to create a policy uh, all this policy name um uh, let's let's call it um uh, this resource um, sorry project name okay description policy Project tag and run. So now here we are going to add the tag key called project name. Right? So here it is. So tag key capitalization complaints. Yes, we want the users to uh, use the sorry, this is the tag key project name as is like project without any space and name tag value complaints we want to give them only two options which is development dev development production So they have to specify the project name as is and say this and prevent non-compliant operation for this tag. Uh, it applies to pretty much all the resources uh, unless you want to specify a specific type of resource which we don't want. We want it to be consistent across the board. So we first create the policy. We call the policy is called project name identifier. We created it and now, now the next step is to attach the policy to uh, to the accounts right so i'll add it to my management account i'll add it to my security uh, security ou so if i uh, uh, in the shared infrastructure i just want to do with, with this uh, right so not the entire ou if there is another account it won't be applied to that account but it will be applied only to this account so i applied this i attach this policy to them and now you see the targets you will see where it is applied and here it is applied to an account this is an organization unit this is again an account even though in the shared infrastructure is an organization unit it, it applied only to an account so that's what it is saying right so now that we have the 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 um the policy created the next step is to create a resource which doesn't with the with the policy tag that doesn't match right so Let's go to an EC2 instance. Um, instance running. Uh, we'll go to that instance tags, and um, but before just let's uh, before we go ahead um, and, and do the com uh, do an incorrect. Um, let's say, uh, just go ahead and do it. Now we'll add a new tag. We'll say project name like this with and we'll add a value sandbox right and we'll save so as you see it is not consistent with what the policy is right so now let's go ahead and see whether we can find out find that out or not but before we go ahead um, so the service is called under management and governance you have resource groups and tag identifier you go into resource groups and tag identifier and and then you click on tag policies as you see uh, you get an error message uh, when you go to uh, AWS access to uh, attack policy is not enabled uh, under resource groups uh, and then to enable it run AWS organization enable service and etc etc so for what we are going to do we are going to go to AWS organizations then we are going to go to um, services and you will find something called tag policies 
and as you see it is disabled at this time so what you go is you go in there and you enable trusted access and type enable enable trusted access so now when you come back and go to tag policies and refresh the screen it will start evaluating the, uh, the all the accounts and stuff so here it is loading the accounts and it will start evaluating the accounts the compliance report I mean it will take a while uh, because it's going to look at a lot of stuff um, so that's that we are not worried about this organization we are worried about this particular account which we are in which is the management account right so here you'll see resources with non-compliant tags we pick the region US North Virginia and immediately you see an EC2 instance which is non-compliant and it says name is okay but because name is okay because we don't have a tag policy but project name sandbox is not correct right so now what we do is if we go ahead and into this and again manage tags if we go ahead add a tag like we said project name and value develop and and we remove this tag and we save this and now when you come back to tag policies console and when you refresh the screen you will not sorry you will not see any non-compliant resources as simple as that so what this tells you is you can tell us with specific department who are not following proper tag policies to follow um, right uh, you, once you run this report and see because when if what, what is the consequence is if you run a report for a specific tag name like project name because they're case sensitive and you those resources will be missing from your uh, you know cost report or any report that you are running so for that reason if you want to enforce it properly it is better you go ahead and enable them so that um, so that they they go ahead uh, the teams will follow a proper thing so as simple as that so uh, what we did today is really we enabled a tag policy at an organizational level then we enabled gave a trusted access to uh, aws tag policies uh, console and in tag policies we are looking at a non-compliance resource right so that is basically what we did and here the effective tag policy is tag project name um, and then development or production um, right and then you know even if you let's say in this example again we'll go ahead and manage tags we'll put a name even though if this is correct and we here we say sandbox even though the key is correct but the value is wrong in the tag policies you still see that you it will it will give you an error because it is it is incorrect see non-compliant one the value so earlier if you noticed the tag key was also wrong so it was showing two and now it's just the value is wrong so it is showing sandbox the one big caveat here is if you did find did not define project name in in i mean if there is no tag tag then they don't show it under non-compliance for example if it is tags and manage tags if i delete this altogether it won't be under non-compliance because it, it is the when the tag is not defined then it, it is no longer non-compliant only if you define the tag and it is not right then it becomes non-compliant so that's one thing to remember um, so that's about aws organizations uh, tag policies management policies and tag policies on how to specify them how to monitor them how to enforce them i hope this video is useful do like this channel and subscribe to this channel um, because there'll be a lot of content that i'll share about aws thank you thanks for watching